So I have this firearm here that I've been having some problems with. It's a side-by-side -side 12 gauge. It is a, it says on it, Springfield Arms Company, Chicopee Falls, Mass, USA, patent April 20th, 1915. That doesn't mean it was made in 1915, but this uh, particular design was patented in 1915. So what it has is there's no hammers. You open the action. Put your shells in there. Uh, as you close the action, it automatically goes there. It's ready to fire. You have a safety here. Pull up to shoot. And what's happening is, once I fire the gun, it's hard to open this. The action's very hard to open. And if you look in the at the primer, here's a spent 12-gauge shell, but... If, if I would have fired this out of this gun, there would be a small scratch on the primer where the firing pin is dragging uh, against the primer, and that's why it's hard to open the action because it's dragging, especially on the left chamber. So I got some advice about this because I didn't know how to solve the problem, and uh, a gunsmith friend of mine uh, gave me some ideas because basically you can't, I'm not going to say you can't, but you could disassemble the receiver. Uh, it has some pins here. But he said by the, when you take that apart, you could lose the entire guts of it. And me working in my garage, I don't have any special tools or anything. It would be hard for me to potentially fix that if it got loose. And it's nothing special. It's uh, It's got a lot of wear on it. On the, the stock has got a crack. Let me see if I can show that. The stock has been cracked and had some repairs there. It doesn't really fit super tight there. The outside of the gun is not bad for the age, but it does have some pitting. Uh, you know, it's seen. It's at the end of its of its life, really. But I'd still like to use it. So I'm going to go through this video on how. Uh, if you have a side-by-side -side similar to this that's having problems, you may be able to fix it as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop this off. This is spring-loaded. So I'll take that set of the side. Now when I open the action, the barrel will come off. Set the barrel aside. Oh. That just leaves me with the receiver here. And you can see where the firing pins come out to fire. Now, if you looked when the when you reinsert the barrel on here, the barrel pivots on this little uh, thing here, and there's a lever in there that pushes down on the inside of this. See if I can get a good shot of that. Yeah, right here. Pushes down in there, and that's what closes your uh, selector here to open the the action. So I'm going to take a screwdriver and push down. And if you had a punch, it would be better. I just have this screwdriver. I'm going to push down on that, close it so that it thinks the barrel's on there and everything. And then I can fire, dry fire it. The firing pins will come out, and they'll stay out. And you're going to see that they're very, uh, pretty rough shape. So let's take a look here. I'm going to push down. All right. That has closed it. You can see now that, uh, depending on how you look at that, it's changed a little bit in there. Now I'm going to push up on my safety, and I'll fire this thing. I'll dry fire it. So the pins are sticking out. Now you may be able to see, I don't know how much detail you can see on the pins, but this is the pin that drags, particularly. And it's pretty rough shape. So, I have a piece of emery cloth and I have a piece of uh, like Scotch Bright abrasive pad. And I'm going to use that just to try to clean up the pins a little bit. I may use a file to touch up the pins too, as well. 
what I'm going to do is just take several times of, of cleaning this in hopes that, uh, you know, I don't want to take too much off, obviously, since it's not going to fire. But if I can clean it up a little bit, you know, just kind of move around the, the pins. They have so many burrs on them, I think that they're catching uh, and dragging. So I'm just going to take a few minutes here and clean those up. All right, let's see if this thing works. Ha, huh, perfect. Before I had to put it over my knee to even get the action to open. So I'm very happy with this. Hope this video is helpful for you if you have a similar problem.